Good morning, family. Welcome to today's lessons for life. Today is Saturday, July 25th, 2009, and today we're reading in 1st Kings chapter 8. And as always, as I begin, uh, I encourage you to read it for yourself. So if you get from me, email us and we'll put it on the blog. But we see here in this chapter that um, the temple has been built. They bring the Ark of the Covenant there. And uh, King Solomon actually like consecrates or uh, dedicates this temple um, to the Lord and he prays to the Lord. And uh, he, he actually says to the Lord, you know, I know that this temple is not big enough really to, to, to house you because you're, so, you're greater than the heavens and the earth. But he asks for him to uh, honor the prayers of uh, the people as they pray and as they look towards his house and uh, reverence really God uh, by looking towards the house. And uh, he asks for uh, the Lord to really honor their prayers. So one thing I want to bring up for Lessons for Life was uh, even as Solomon had noted and uh, realized that, you know, that temple was not really able to really house God. It was, you know, nothing's really big enough to house God. But... Uh, because he made a place for him, then he was going to ask the Lord to honor the prayers of the people. So for us, in, uh, what we can get for this for Lessons of Life is, you know, it's, it's, it's about us really making a place for God in our house, in our uh, lives, in our hearts, making a place for God, and really showing uh, that priority that we have the Lord first and having a place for him, um, really respecting him enough to have set aside something for him. Uh, an example of that was something we had spoke about before was even like uh, preparing or creating an altar in your own house. You know, not just expecting when you go to church or you go to the place that you go to worship or whatever that you can only worship God there. You can only have a place for him there. You know, you see the cross or you see whatever, um, you know, whatever other symbols that you may see there that uh, represents God to you. Uh, but God is not just there, but you can have a place for God at your home or at your work, as long as you set aside a place for him and you um, look toward to look to that place, recognizing that you know God is bigger than that, but this is your symbol of him, then he can honor your prayers as well too. So, like I said, an example is just to even create an altar, have a place in your home, or have a place in your car, or have a place somewhere um, that will con continually remind you of God's presence and of his ever abiding presence so he's not just at the church or the place that you worship at but he can be in your home he can be in your bedroom he can be in your bathroom he can be anywhere <laughs> and you can you know the, the important thing i want to get across is that you can create a place for god and um you know have him in theory dwell in that place with you so uh that's what i wanted to bring up for lessons for life there's you know that's a, a general uh, take on this chapter. You can, as you read it, you'll you'll see other uh, little things. You can definitely pull lessons for life from, but you need to read it for yourself. So with that, create yourself a wonderfully blessed day today, and we'll talk again tomorrow.